Welcome back everyone to another episode of According to Seth. We are back on this lovely Saturday and today we're talking about Scream 5, which honestly might be one of my favorite horror movies in a, in a while. Like there's been some good remakes and um, you know, as they call in this movie, recalls, because it's very freaking meta. Um, this movie just hit it out of the park and was amazing in every possible way. Like hats off to freaking Matt Bell, Be I can't speak, Matt Bettinelli Olpin and Tyler Gillett who just directed and wrote the shit out of this script. Um, and they also did a movie called Ready or Not, which I don't know if um, some of you guys have seen, but that was fantastic. So that gave me a lot of hope going into this and it didn't let me down. Let me just put it that way. Um, this movie is so meta and it has so many cool Easter eggs and like different topics throughout the movie that just like make it so fantastic. Like this movie, honestly, Wes Craven would have been proud of this one. Like if I was going to rank, rank the scare, you know, the Scream series, I'd go Scream 1 and then this one because it just like, it's even close with the first one. It just was just done so well. And especially with a lot of the themes today, like they even talk about freaking like, which I won't spoil, but they talk about like um, the new, the newest trilogy of Star Wars and how that like kind of fits in like with this like um, commentary within this film. So I won't say more than that because you'll know what I'm talking about when you watch it. But there's just a lot of commentary and it just is very relevant. And there is one scene in the movie, um, which like I said, I'm not going to spoil this one either, but I will say Dylan Minnette, it stars him and they spend like 10 minutes on this and it happens in every single horror movie. And the way that they did it was just fantastic. Um, the cast was unreal. Of course, you have Courtney Cox, David Arquette, and um, Nev Campbell coming back as their, you know, as the original characters. Um, Sydney Prescott, though, let me just say, just keeps coming back and crushing the shit out of this role. Like, she is one of the ultimate final girls, but like, I, she just somehow gets better and better, and I loved her part in this movie. I will say that the rest of this cast, though, they couldn't have casted it better. Sid, uh, Jenna Ortega, who plays Tara Carpenter, scene stealer. You got Jack Quaid, absolute scene stealer as well. Those two were just unbelievable. Um, and then you have Melissa Brera, who's kind of like the main character in this. She plays Sam Carpenter, who's um, Tara's sister. And I'm pretty sure that's a nod to freaking John Carpenter, because come on. Um, and then, you, like I said, you have Dylan Minnette, um, you have Melissa Barrera, uh, Mary Shelton, who is uh, now the sheriff. She was one of the um, deputies before. You got Mason Gooding, um, Kyle Gallner, Gallner, I think is how you say it. Um, he was in the original, like not the original, the remake of um, Nightmare on Elm Street, which I'm sure was another tribute. Um, you got Mikey Madison, um, like I said, Jack Quaid's in it. Um, and then a few others, Jasmine Savoy Brown, who was also fantastic. Sonia um, Ben Amar. I mean, the cast just goes on and on. But all in all, guys, I'm giving this a 9.5 out of 10 because it just really was done so well. And like, if you're a fan of the Scream franchise, you will love this movie.